because Luis Gama, mm -hmm. uh, this abolitionist, he was free, okay. right? But then his white dad sold him to as a slave what? to get some money, right? What? And then he stayed as a slave in the slavery condition until, like, he, he couldn't write, couldn't read. He what? was not literate until he was 17. And then he learned how to write. He learned how to read. And then he freed himself and he freed other black people. And so that's what I'm talking about. So he's the big. End. Oh, wow. So he's big in your history books. Then. Yeah. In our history book, not be, not exactly because th who writes the history books? Well, you know what I mean. Some some people live in paycheck to paycheck, but mm -hmm. here I see in Brazil and these other countries I visit, you guys are so happy and welcoming and friendly, and you live life to the fullest. So it's a lot to be learned. Yeah. From coming here to Brazil, yeah. a lot to be learned. I think it come it came from the times of slavery, right? Because yeah. although our people were kidnapped, yeah. were brought, you know, like in a ship, like. In the bottom of the ship, and mm. if you got sick, they threw out in the ocean, right? Probably you've heard the story, heard right? The stories, yeah. So, although all of these were still smiling, so it shows, right, our res resistance. Resilience, resilience. Exact yeah. resilience, in exactly. The, in the face of adversity, yeah. Exactly. Anything else you want to say? This was an amazing interview. We had our highs, our lows. Yeah! Very, 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 <laughs> I mean, you was real. You, Anything else they should know about um, Brazil? If somebody was coming here to visit, where would you tell them to go? That they uh, a must, a must, they must see in your country. Where should they go? Okay, I dare you, Philly Dom, to uh -huh. go to Carneiros Beach. It's Carneiros. near near here in Carneiros. Pernambuco. If you have like two or three days, you must go and visit this place. Carneiros Beach. It's Carneiros. an island or a beach? It's a beach, and okay. it's wonderful, wonderful. That's it. When I, Which way? That way? That way. Oh, that way. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> when I think about, when I said, ah, you know, the, the Caribbean beaches are not... Uh, this is a place that if you go and you visit, you feel like, wow, what a wonderful place. Because the... Well, then I'm talking about uh, uh, tropical, right? Uh -huh. uh, characteristics. But it's good. Like, this is the... For me, it's the paradise. It's okay. a paradisic place. All right, so they have to see that. That's what she said. Exactly. Okay. Have you ever been to uh, Fortaleza? No, not yet. You heard anything good, bad about Fortaleza? Well, my husband told me bad things about Fortaleza, uh -oh. but because his ex-wife was from Fortaleza, oh, so okay, don't take so into consideration, right? Okay. Don't take into account. Yeah, he had a, <laughs> he had a bad situation. <laughs> exactly, there. but you can't consider this. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, it's coming off of a struggle over there. With exactly. Okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Anything you want to say in Portuguese to the to people that only speak Portuguese? You want to say something to them? Tell them maybe a quick synopsis, something quick. Because um, we always got to honor the hometown, like, so they know what's going on. Anything in Portuguese you want to say to the Brazilians that are watching? I would like to sing a song, can I? Yeah! Yeah? <laughs> certainly! Okay, uh, a bad thing you didn't bring your instrument, your musical yeah. instrument, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have it here with me. I would have had to borrow somebody's in the country. Uh -huh. In Sao Paulo, they had the trombone and stuff, but I didn't meet nobody in Salvador Bahia or here yet with the instrument, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So this song, this I'm not a singer, okay? So okay. I'm gonna sing something that the best you can. Okay. Yeah, the best I can. No, but it's a uh, um, actually this. It's not a song, I would say, but like a a joke. Let's say, uh, Luis Gama. Have you heard? Of, have you heard this name? I heard the name Luis before. Gama. I heard the name before. Luis Gama is is was a very important ab abolitionist. Abolitionist. We say this yeah, yeah. Brazilian abolitionist. Okay. And like. From 1880 something, uh, then he wrote this poem called Bodgy. 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 We say goat. Is that yeah, it? Bodgy. <laughs> Bodgy. Oh, Bodgy. Bodgy. That's what I was asking you about the music earlier. It's called Bodgy. Ah. Oh, so all this is coming off the Afro play. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, okay, so probably read this. Right? Yes. Okay. So the name of this poem he wrote is Bodgy. If I if I no do problem. this, is bad for you? No, it's not bad. It's okay. not bad. <laughs> bad for people in the co-working trying to work and they, 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 they might they might be a little upset. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But you said it's like uh, let me see if they Yeah, it's it, they don't hear us, right? Okay, I closed it all the way. Okay, great. Ah, That's let me put it like this. Okay, we're trying to oh, I think now they don't they don't hear us now, there we right? Go. Yeah. Okay.
and after I can send you the translation if you want to okay. know as well. I can try to translate and send it to you. Well, the first part of the poem it was written by Luis Gama, this uh, uh, Brazilian abolitionist okay. from the past, and the second part was written by me. So oh, wow. the, uh, the first part he he, he, com yeah. Ah, no. yeah. he compares the um, um, people. Okay. White people, black people, rich people, poor people, young, uh, old. He compares people to goats, to bodies, okay. right? And so it's like bodies is goats. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Body. Or sheep. Which animal? Sheep. Which animal is goat? The sheep. The sheep. Sheep. Is it sheep? Sheep. Yeah. Yeah. But goats go by. Yeah. So goats are sheep, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's. We got Brazilians out. that watch it too, so they'll translate. Exactly. Good. So yeah. good. The Brazilians. My boy Wilson. Me. Wilson. Wilson. Translate this. Come on, Wilson. Wilson B. Wilson B. I call him. <laughs> Wilson he's from Sam. He's from São Paulo. Okay, Wilson. Yeah. He be, try, he be helping me all the time on the channel when I do live. Like, no, that's what they mean. Yeah. So he's the guy. He's yeah. The guy. Wilson B. Help us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so first is comparing, like he's saying that uh, us human, we're like. Th these animals, right? Because okay. we have all sorts of 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 humans, like yeah. black, poor, yeah. rich. So it's comparing to this. And the second part is a little bit sadder because mm. Luis Gama, mm. uh, this abolitionist, he was free, okay. right? But then his white dad sold him Just as a slave. What? To get some money, right? What? And then he stayed as a slave in the slavery condition until, like, he, he couldn't write, couldn't read. He what? was not literate until he was 17. And then he learned how to write. He learned how to read. And then he freed himself and he freed other black people. And so that's what I'm talking about. So he's se sou negro ou se sou bode, não importa o que isso pode. Bode, há de toda casta, pois a espécie é muito vasta. É, é, é muito vasta. Há cinzentos arrajados, bairros, pampas e malhados, bodes pretos, bodes brancos. Huh. Sejamos todos francos, uns plebeus, outros nobres. Tem os bodes ricos e tem os bodes pobres. E bode classe média? Tem, hein? É comédia ou tragédia? Bode sábios, importantes, mas também tem os bodes tratantes no Brasil de hoje e de antes. Andam de terno elegantes. Aqui nessa boa terra amarram todos tudo berra, tu, tu, tudo berra, tudo be, 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 be. Haja paz, haja alegria, folgue, brinque, a bodaria, be, be. be. Esses versos foram escritos antes de 13 de maio de 1888 Por Luiz Gonzaga Pinto Gama Você não viu? Nos livros de história Querem apagar o passado na nossa memória? Da memória do Brasil, a pátria magra gentil? Luiz Gama, escritor, jornalista Ele era um rábula e abolicionista Se você não conhece a palavra rábula, pode procurar no Pai dos Burros Luiz Gama foi mantido como escravo pelo próprio pai branco, ainda criança. Imagine carregar essa triste lembrança. Permaneceu analfabeta até os 17 anos de idade, quando conquistou a sua própria liberdade. Virou advogado, libertou outros pretos, mas infelizmente até hoje ainda vivemos nos guetos. A mãe de Luiz Gama, Luísa Marim, mulher negra, liberta muçulmana. Ela é personagem do livro da Ana, um defeito de cor de Ana Maria Gonçalves, minha prima. Por quem tenho muito amor. Os direitos dessa obra, audiovisual, foram vendidas para a Globo. Vai ser uma série sensacional. Luísa Marim, no protagonismo, que tem um papelzinho para mim, respeitando o colorismo. Meu nome é Brenda Lígia, eu não sou do hall das MCs. Sou apenas mais uma mulher negra fazendo o papel de uma... Uma simples atriz. Aham. Uh -huh. okay, so he's the... big. Oh, wow. So he's big in your history books. Here. Yeah. In our history book, not, be, not exactly, because who writes the history books? White people. Uh, yeah. So guess if they gave yeah, Louis Gama they the importance. Give him one no. sentence. Louis Gama was a slave. Yes, yes. Freed himself. Next. You know what? <laughs> exactly. You know what, yeah. Philly? Uh, uh -huh. In in Brazilian in history Brazilian class, like we know, ah, uh, Brazil was discovered in 1500. 
Discover. You can't what discover about place. the 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 Indians, the, the natives that was here already? Discovered by who? By the white people, by the yeah. Portuguese. But yeah. what about before that? So that's the story we get from history books, and then wow. we have to change, right? Yeah. And actually, you American people in our history book, it's saying that uh, the Amazon is like uh, the world. The Amazon is ours, Philly. Okay. Don't come and get our Amazon man. Okay, we won't. I won't. Please I mean, don't. I don't. I don't have no power in the politics right now. <laughs> Yeah. No, but it's a fact, right? Like, yeah. uh, like they're starting to change the narrative, so okay. it's important to have the correct way. Yeah, of the telling. story, of everything yeah. like that. Yeah. So do you? Cause this is like embarrassing. I don't even. I don't even know. Like we got to connect more to Brazilians and the African Americans in the states and Canadians. Offhand, I bet you, if you ask the average African American in the states, a Brazilian uh, abolitionist or historical figure African we couldn't even tell you offhand really do you know any of ours like a Martin Luther King Martin Max you heard of any of them wow the gap is so spread yeah. away between us yeah damn yeah yeah like Martin Luther King that's like a major like he's like the top Martin oh no Martin oh, yeah, okay, you know no Martin. no Martin okay, Luther King okay. no it is a okay, yeah. Martin Mandela all okay, these we okay. know about this okay but. okay but Brazilian, uh, I don't know nobody. I had a Brazilian history class in college. No, but it taught we, me about we the, don't know. So, of yeah, course, other countries. I feel bad. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But I was in Sao Paulo, and I went to a um, a friend of mine was taking me. She took me. Where did she take me? She took me to, like, an African museum there. Yeah. And I was going to record these people dancing, doing the Afro dances, the Brazilian Afro dances, like capoeira and other different forms of dances. But it was closed. But it was a library there, and it had pictures of all these famous Brazilians. And I almost cried. I told her, I don't know who none of these people oh. are. I don't know who they are. And I'm, like, big on history, and I didn't know none of them. She's yeah. like, well, I could tell you so you know. Like, So he probably was on that wall. I'm sure yeah. he was on that wall. It was but like, don't feel bad, because okay. Brazilians don't know about him. So how okay. could you? You okay. know, like, that's uh, we need to change this yeah. somehow. Stress the history. Orally. Yeah. So it's important that you're doing this, because yeah. someone... Who is following your channel is gonna know? Oh, I've heard about this. Yeah, so now they heard because you gave them say the guy name again because now they'll Google. Luis Gama. Send me, send me when you send me the WhatsApp. Send me his name and his information. Okay, great. So great. they know about him too. I'll as send well. you all this, all this. All right, we gotta do this again. Yeah, yeah. I loved this yeah. really. Yeah, that was we a do great, this again. great, great conversation. I loved it. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to say today? Or you? Well, I think I've said enough. Okay. I just want to say that if we are here, if you are now watching this very nice gentleman's channel, right? Uh, you must celebrate because we are alive, right? Yes. Only here in Brazil, more than 600,000 people died after COVID, right? Mm. So if you're now watching, you're a survivor, right? So you yes. have a reason to celebrate, right? Yeah. So 600,000 people yeah. died. Yeah. I know you guys were like one or two, like with the deaths. I know it was big here. Wow. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I had a friend here. His name is Youssef. Um, he was a YouTuber. Mm. He lived in San Paulo. He died from COVID here. Yeah, many people. Yeah, and he was like ripped. I couldn't, like, he's a health buff. I couldn't understand, like, that. Because when you think, you're thinking, like, an old lady, an old man, like, okay, their body's not strong, it's a strong, uh -huh. um, the, the, With comorbidity, yeah. right, yeah. But this guy, like, in his 40s, ripped, stomach ripped, ripped. I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah. let's wait, uh, hope for better days, right? Better days coming, man. Yeah, yeah. Starting on Sunday because we have elections. So yeah, we don't ah, that's what you a, need to end it We with. don't want a racist yeah. president anymore, so we want a better Brazil for next generation, future okay. generations. And not to play devil's advocate, don't beat me up when I say this part. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they said, I know Luna, they said that the one thing our people always heard about, and I went to one of his, I'm going to sing the video, I did. I went to the, one of his rallies, and he was actually there, I got him recorded on the camera, like I videotaped Luna. I'm going to send it to you. That's nice. People were saying, people that are against him are saying that he went to jail. What did he go to jail for? He went to jail. He was a, like uh, Mandela went to jail. Okay. Jesus Christ okay. went to jail. So He, he wasn't went. really doing the wrong. What, what did he go? What did they, because I want to hear what you said, because I know you, you, you support him. 
What did he go to jail? What, what did they? What did he go to jail for? He went to jail because they didn't. They didn't want to run the risk of the other, the right, the, the opposition. Let's say they didn't want to have the risk that of people would vote vote for him because he would win if he was free. So they found a way. A to loophole, yeah, like how you do in the states. They find something. They dig up stuff on you, and they find something you're doing wrong, and that's how they got him. Right. Exactly. They put him to jail, and it's so, because after this, they proved already that he was innocent, right? There is nothing against him. Okay. But then, like these people, because they are uh, uh, fake news factory, right? Yeah, they're that's what I was asking you. Yeah, they yeah. said that he was corrupt. He took some money bribes, and people yeah. were telling me that in Sao Paulo. People that were against him in Sao Paulo were oh, saying yeah. that, uh -huh. that he was taking money and stuff like that. So I want to hear it from somebody that's a supporter because I know it's always two sides to every story. Exactly. See, now, now okay, they wanted him, what we call it in the United States is they wanted him out of the way. Uh -huh. So they got him on some kind of false charge. Or at least the lawyers are so good now that they can put you in jail for something and have you tied up for something you didn't do until your lawyers have to fight and go to court and then like prove, look, look, that's not him, look, that's not him. And that's how he sat in jail for you. Exactly. See, I understand exactly. what they did. Yeah. But you know what, Philly? I'm not like I have friends who are petista. We say petista, right? Okay. That support PT, Partido dos Trabalhadores, Workers Party. Mm. Uh, but I'm not like a fan. Oh, I love. No, it's just because Lula right now is mm. the only possible way to to eliminate this 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 government who is okay. there, right? So it's the only. Uh, solution for the country right okay, now, I but understand. I wish I had we had another option, another option a yeah. woman, a black woman. Yeah. Can you imagine that? What about it? Yeah, but that's true. We still have many years yeah. to come. Did you ever have this. a black president here? No, never, never, never. Only your Barack Obama. Yeah, but oh, that big one, tears went down my eyes. Uh, me too, yeah, me too. That was a big one for us. That yeah, was a big one. Yeah, yeah, they always like they always try to downplay his term. They said, oh, he didn't do nothing for black people. But I knew going in that, that he, and he's a smart guy. He's a brilliant guy. Yeah, he is. He knew going in he really couldn't do much for black people. Because the second he would have shifted to the blacks, not saying that was right, he sort of still took the chance. And during the end, he started taking the chance. Like on the second term at the end, he was like, I don't care, I'm going anyway. They can't stop me now. But they would have been like, oh, see, that's why we didn't want him coming president. Because he's biased. He's only going to support the black people. And then all, all the others always supported the white yeah. people when nobody when he, said anything. But he right? supported the, the, the gays, he supported the white, he supported everybody. But yeah. they were always watching him when he tried to, if he would try to do something for blacks, they would be like, uh. Exactly. Yeah, but y'all, yeah, one day Brazil, y'all definitely gonna get a black black president. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and so. a female president. We have to well, be alive to see these, huh? Yeah, I, I didn't think I would be, I didn't think I would be live to see a black president. That's what really touched me, too. But that's crazy because uh, our leader from back in the day, civil rights leader Martin Luther King, he said that in an interview. They asked him, he said, within the next 40 years, we'll have a black president. Mm. He was spot on. It was 40 after yeah, 30 years? Yeah, it was like almost on 40, he was spot that. on. Yeah, you can Google it. You can say Martin Luther King asked a question when it's going to be a black president. He said, 30, 40 years, I'll give it like... He was spot on. Wow. Obama got it like almost on 40 years, almost on 40 years. Did he say month. anything about Brazil? I no, he just no. talked about the U.S. <laughs> we're yeah. lost. We're lost. <laughs> no, y'all still have it. Y'all still have it because there's a lot of brilliant black people here in Brazil. It's just a matter of time. What's the highest position that a Brazilian, a black Brazilian held in office here in your country? The we're highest. talking about politi politics. Politics, um, yeah. Where they can make changes. They, they can, can affect. We have ministers. Ministry. The, there was the Minister of uh, Equality. Mm -hmm. So we have... We're, that's the thing. I, I feel that we haven't... We don't start and then continue with this. Like, we okay. had the, the ministry, but then she's not anymore, right? You know, and like okay. this government, for example, we had a ministry of equality and diversity, then he cut everything off. Ah, we don't need this this kind of thing. Oh, so, and they took, his, they took the position. Exactly. So, <laughs> no, they cut. Like, ah, oh, no, we don't need it. It's oh. like it's not important to talk about this. Of okay. course, he's white, so he doesn't think it's important. So uh. Uh, that's what I, what I think we should have, right, to to advance and to continue advancing and not okay. ah we did this and now we walk backwards yeah. like 10 steps backwards you know like this they is gotta keep bad. pushing forward and pushing forward and pushing forward and pushing forward exactly yeah man, but i want to see the black people do well here and uh yeah because this is the biggest black population brazil that's why it was important for me to come here i think after i leave here is definitely when i leave this continent 
definitely Africa. Maybe Europe, then go to Africa or Af go across to Africa. Because outside of Africa, you guys have the biggest black population. It's only like in the United States, I think it might be 20%, 25 maybe 30%. I think. I don't know. Somebody check the numbers and let us know if we right or wrong. We don't have uh -huh. Google. We don't got our phones right now. Mm -hmm. But you guys are like, uh, it's a big, you have like uh, the the most slaves that w came to the New World came to, yeah. to Brazil. So to you Brazil. guys, yeah. Exactly. You have double the number that we have blacks. And then when I walk around town, I look at you guys and I see them like, that person could be my cousin or a friend or they look like they speak English. You want to go talk to them? But then I know they speak Portuguese. But then they don't understand anything, right? <laughs> but they look like somebody that you know. So I know like we're all family. Just their boats came here. Our boats went up there and other boats went other places to the Caribbean. But they look, they act, especially here in Brazil. I didn't get that in, you know, Caribbean. They look a little rough, a little hardcore. But here, like, you guys look like African. We we uh, resemble each other a lot. Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot, exactly. a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, ancestralidade. Yes, right? When yes. They talk about this, right? Yes. What is the word dodgy? I always see you guys say dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. It's like illity. Italy. Yeah, the, I mean, like for example, ancestralidade, ancestrality. Astrology, Do you say this? Yeah, astrology, astrology or. Uh, for example, uh, dade, felicidade, happiness. Happiness. Uh, fragilidade, fragility. Okay. So that's not what dade is for. Dodgy. It's like to make a substantive. Okay, like the stink, like the stink word. Because I always say everywhere I go, dodgy, 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 dodgy. Exactly. Dodgy. It's uh, it's it's normal. Here. All right. Okay, one more thing, guys. Let us know. Tell them. Tell them what she's won. I'll let you tell them. It's better for you to tell Okay. Yeah. Well, I have to say, right, because when it's something good, we have to share as well. I'm, a, I'm an actress, but as a director, one of my short films called Contrast, it's available online after I can send you the send link. Send me everything. Send it in the description. Send it to me. I'll put it in the description, too. So, great. People so people can, can watch can it. Yeah, they're going to watch it. That's great. Oh, they're nosy. They're nosy, nosy people. They're going to watch everything. <laughs> they're going to Instagram you. Some of them are into... Some of them live in Hollywood. They're like screenwriters and stuff. Oh, they might, not. They might Hire try to, me. They might need you for a movie or something like Why that. Why not? That's great. I have a, one good friend, man, in Long Beach, California. I'm going to send her what's, your WhatsApp. She writes... Uh, she writes uh, scripts for oh, movies, that's movie scripts. Nice. So See, she always needs, yeah, or she might put you on one of her films. That's cause, great. Because she has a fascination. She has a fascination with Brazil. That's like, great. So, so, yeah. That's great. So just introduce to me. So well, so this short film I made, I directed, scripted, I performed as well called Contrast. I made this in 2020, and then I I won the. The Diaspora Prize, Diaspora, we diaspora say, that, yeah. the Diaspora Prize in Silicon Valley African Film Festival in the United States. California. And, California, man. The and Bay I, Area. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And I was very happy with this prize. And there is one other short film I made called Ile. Do you know what Ile means? Homeland, Homeland is a name in Yoruba in Africa. Okay, yeah, Yoruba. Dialect. Yeah. Oh, Yoruba, Nigerian, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then this Homeland called Ile, it's a vertical movie like made for uh, mobile phones platform because it's not the horizontal we're used to it. Uh, we're used to. And so this vertical movie won the prize in another festival called Essential Stories Festival, which is a festival that talks about stories of minorities and you know like uh lgbtq how do you say lgbtqia you know yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah you know what i'm talking about anyway so i have already two prizes maybe i'll have the next one soon that's all right that's yeah. all right that's it brother all right then take care and once again you're watching the one and only philly dom and i'm out here in brazil in the town of hasifi <laughs>